Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create an oscillator sync tone using reactor blocks. Something like this. Alright, so let's create this. Starting from scratch, we'll go to File and create a new ensemble. I'll close the panel view for now and let's start patching. I'll delete these inputs as we won't be needing them. We'll go into the library and inside Bento box, let's bring in two oscillators. So one is going to be the master and one is going to be the slave. We can just rename these right now. I'll call this the master and this one the slave. All right, to hear this, we will need a VCA. We have one right here. I'll bring that in. To play this, we will need a note in. So under Utility, let's bring in this note in module. All right, so let's start patching things. The pitch from the note in is going to go into the pitch on both the oscillators so they can be key tracked. The slaves output, I'll plug into the input on the VCA. And then the output of the VCA can go into the main output. Now to create this oscillator sync effect, we can take any of the outputs from the master and plug that into the sync input on the slave. So whenever the master restarts its cycle, it will force the slave to restart as well. Now to trigger this, let's take the gate output and plug that into the mod A on the VCA. Back in panel view, I'll reorganize things here. I click on A over here on the VCA and click and drag to increase the depth. Now when I play on my keyboard, we can hear the sound. All right, so let's set the sleeve to a sawtooth tone. I'll increase the sync dial here to maximum. And now we're in hard sync mode. It sounds pretty much the same, but if I change the pitch on the master, you'll notice the slave's pitch changes. But if I change the pitch on the slave, the pitch doesn't change, but we introduce new harmonics and we create that classic hard sync screaming tone. All right, back in patching mode, let's change up the waveform we're using for the sync. It's a sign right now. Let's try the pulse. Some Eurac modules only accept a pulse shape for the sync input. Sounds almost the same. Now, in this module, we have a dedicated oscillator sync output, so we can use that instead. It's a bit more calibrated for that sync effect. This definitely sounds much better. Let's try it with the square shape. Alright, so now we want to modulate this with an envelope as well as an LFO. So back in the Bento box, let's bring in the ADSR envelope as well as the LFO. So to modulate that sync effect, we're essentially going to modulate the pitch on the slave. Now there's only one input here. So we will have to use a mixer to mix the two signals from the ADSR and the LFO. So I'll plug the LFO into one here and the ADSR into two. And this combined signal will go into the FM input. Back in the panel. On the sleeve, I'll increase the FM amount. And now you can hear the modulation. I should probably switch this to linear. Right now we're only hearing one modulator, the LFO, because on the mixer only number one is up. Let's bring in the envelope that's on mixer channel number two. I'll shape the envelope first. I'll increase mixer channel two. So it looks like the envelope is not working. Let's go back to patching mode. Okay, the gate input is not plugged in. Envelopes don't work by themselves. 
they need to be triggered by a gate. So I'll take the gate output from the note in and plug that in there. So now every time I play a note, the envelope will get triggered. Let me rearrange everything here. All right, now we can hear the envelope modulating the pitch on the slave. Let's mix in the LFO as well. So now we have both modulators affecting the pitch and thus giving us that oscillated hard sync tone. All right, so let's save this. And that's the modulated hard sync tone. I hope you like that. Stay tuned for more.